Hello everyone and welcome to a new adventure in Echo, which is a side-scrolling adventure game about a girl named Myra who goes back into her subconscious every night to the same kind of dream where her environment starts to fall apart and we're going to help her experience memories that she tried to repress, which sounds a little weird, but I'm all for for going through other people's memories, so let's get into this. Whoa. What? What is this? Was that just a loading screen? Oh, that was cool. I like that. Oh, okay. This game was inspired by games like Inside and The Littlest Nightmares. And it was made in about four weeks. Whoa, okay. Interact? Okay. It's got a really cool concept, so I thought I'd give it a try. Why are we really tiny? I guess we're in a dream. This is a weird dream. It's like we're at the docks. What is this? Phone? Hello? Can I, can I jump up there? Can I jump up there? No. Okay, I'm not answering the phone, I guess. Okay. You can go to the next room. Are those our- is that our family on the wall? It's a lovely family, I guess. Can I push? There we go. Whoa! Whoa. Hello. It's me. But if it was me underwater. And weirdly shadow figure-like. Okay. That's a little creepy. I'm gonna go over here. Why is the teddy bear an anchor in that world? That is kind of weird. Alright. I guess there's gonna be a lot of weird stuff in this dream. Dreams are pretty weird. Dreams have a lot of weird stuff. Am I supposed to grab this box to bring it over? Hmm? Yeah, I know how to puzzle game. I know what I'm doing. I can puzzle my way out of a situation or two. No, no, push it. No, 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 I push it. There we go. Then we jump. Oh, then we double jump. There we go. Look at me. Puzzle solving master over here. Okay. Oh, it's getting a little creepier. Okay, it's the water world again. Hello? Why is it going like backwards? It's a weird mirror system. Oh wait, hold on. Am I supposed to use the shadow person to do something? Is there a lever? Okay. There's like a lever. Oh. Um, am I supposed to do something with the lever? Oh, okay. So they press the lever. So now can I can I can I press the lever? Is there a lever? Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. I did it. I used my brain. Look at me go. That was a little weird because it's all like mirrored and flipped and underwater. Hello? Where'd my underwater friend go? Also, why is everything underwater? I don't like the water. What is that? There's a box up there. Am I going to have to use... Oh, hello. Can I push? Yes! Hold on. Yes! Thank you! It's a little weird and also kind of hurts my mind to think about that there's someone in an alternate water dimension that's helping me solve these puzzles and it also confuses me but a lot of things confuse me so we're gonna move on and try not to think about it too much okay oh the actual water in an ambulance does that ambulance have something to do with the memories we're trying to repress can I go into the water will that will that kill me okay I can't go in the water I, I probably shouldn't have tried whoa what is that is that a dead person? Um, okay. These memories got a lot darker really quickly. Alright. What is this? Is this a hospital? This is probably all related, isn't it? Okay, am I supposed to get the wheelchair? Why, why am I getting... Am I getting smaller in all these scenarios? That probably represents something too. That we feel helpless and... Because I'm, I'm trapped behind this, this wheelchair. I feel kind of helpless now. Okay. Alright, I'm out. I'm free. Okay. So, did somebody we know die in that lake or wherever that was? And then we went to the hospital with them. And that's why everything in the other dimensions underwater. Because maybe we have a fear of the water now because we know someone who drowned. So what is this? What am I supposed to be doing? What is, what is that on the ceiling? Am I supposed to raise the sail? Ah, oh, we have to push. Ah, okay. We gotta push the sail. Alright, so what is this doing? What is this doing? What is it raising? Is it raising the anchor? Oh, it's raising the anchor. Oh, we're gonna have to push for a while. Oh, we're pretty- Oh, no. No. Oh, okay. Is that good enough? Can I go on? Can I go now? Okay. Cool. Wow. I'm really strong to be able to push a whole anchor. Oh! Okay. That was scary. What if that fell on me? This was the heart rate monitor. Oh, it's underwater. Oh, hello. Am I supposed to open the door? What? 
What? Echo. We went into the water. Does that mean that we died? No, that doesn't make sense. There's gotta be something that we know that died in the lake or whatever it was. And now we keep thinking of it every night, but I don't understand who it was. So I think that somebody died drowning at the lake, but it could also be the fact that we almost drowned and it was us that almost drowned in the lake which would be why there's a reflection of us in the water side of the world helping us and that at the end we opened up the door to the water and it was us in the water the whole time it was a reflection of us so that would make sense that we almost drowned which would give us a repressed memory of the lake so it may not have been that somebody died per se because we did go to the hospital afterwards so it could have been somebody almost drowned so maybe we almost drowned in a lake? I don't know, let me know what you guys think of it. Do you think I'm right in saying that we almost drowned or do you think it was someone else that we know that drowned? Or do you think it was something else entirely that I didn't think of because I'm not that smart? Either way, thank you all so much for joining me today's adventure in Echo. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and a comment saying what you think of it. And as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.